Hey everyone, uh, the Space UGFX. I got an R13 tutorial for you guys, um, and this one is on depth of field. There was depth of field in R12, but it was actually uh, pretty bad, and it's actually uh, really good now in um, R13. I'm going to show you how to use it. The first thing you want to do is get a camera, enable it, and um, go into render settings, and change your render to physical. And uh, just select physical, you want to enable depth of field, and then um, on the sampler, you're going to go to progressive. And um, you can check indirect illumination, and on default, that'll be 1, and just change that to 2. Indirect illumination is essentially global illumination. Um, and then what you want to do, go into the camera and in the objects. You want to find what sphere you want it to be focused on. I'll choose uh, the sphere right here, which is sphere 2, and just drag that in there. So now you see, um, if I go out of the view, there's uh, it's f you see how it's like kind of focused on here? If I clear that... You'll see you can actually, if I clear it, you can actually see how it moves around. And the only reason you would want to do it this way is when you have a cloner. Because um, you can't really grab the cloner object in there if there's a bunch of them. So you have to manually focus it if uh, you have objects in a cloner. But we don't, so we can just uh, re-add it. Enable the camera, and then um, go to um, physical, and change the f-stop to about... Actually, if I render it right now, you won't really see, uh, it's set the field, but you can't really tell that much. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll just let that render for a little while. You'll see you can't really, I think this is the focus object, and you can't really tell the blurriness. Um, the lower the number, uh, the more blurry um, it will be outside of the focus object. So if I change it to about 1, um, and I start rendering. You'll see it's like really great. Where it's really grainy, that'll eventually become blurry um, the longer you let this render. Um, but you'll see it's really grainy out here because it's farther away and closer up. But I th yeah, there's a focus object right here. Um, that's pretty much it. The lower you take the number, the blurry it'll be outside the focus object. And the higher the number, um, you basically won't see any of the blurriness. Um, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. And if this helped you, uh, please leave a like. And um, yeah.